Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts and learn the science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding odd and even measurements using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Google interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume you are given the table containing measurement values obtained from a Google sensor over several days Measurements are taken several times within a given day. Write a query to obtain the sum of the odd numbered and even numbered measurements on a particular day in two different columns. Refer to the example output below for the output format. So the definition of odd and even is first, third, fifth and so on measurements taken within a day are considered odd numbered measurements and second, fourth, sixth measurements are even numbered measurements, right? Uh, so the table has three different columns, uh, measurement ID, measurement value, measurement time, and this is an example of this. So here, if you look at it, right? So on uh, 10th of July, there are three different measurements and on 11th of July, there are two different measurements, right? So on 10th of July, three different measurements, uh, nine o'clock, 11 o'clock and 1.15 in the afternoon. So the odd numbered are first and third. So you sum these two, and for even number, this one, right? And then for on 11th of July, so since there are only two, so odd number is this one and even number, the sum, you need to calculate the sum, right? So the sum of odd numbered uh, values taken on 11th of July is this one and even number is this one. And that is what you have in the output. So here, if you think one thing you should keep in mind that in the output, the measurement day is only a date, right? So it is, it does not has any time. And here in the table, you have that. So how can you do this? So first thing you need to do is you need to partition by the measurement time, basically casted as a date. Why? Why casted it as a date? Because in the output, you only need the date, right? So on 10th of July, 2022, 11th of July, time does not matter, but you need to order them when you have the time as well, right? Until and unless you have the time, how can you, uh, you know, order different measurements on a particular day, right? So that is what you need to do is firstly for each of the days you need to calculate or you know you need to assign ranks to okay so this was the first measurement this was the second one third one fourth one etc. So basically you need to rank here right. So what we need to do is from this table called measurements let's keep all the three columns and then rank. Now ranking can be done in three different ways. You can use row number rank and dense rank and here you can use any of the three. Right. So it does not matter. Although there are differences in the results you get using row number rank and tense rank usually, but in this particular scenario, you, there won't be any difference because you are going up till the, you know, very second moment. Right. And if let's say on uh, 10th of July, 2022 at exactly nine o'clock, there are two different measurements, right. Then it is very like, it is impossible to, you know, determine which one was the first one. And I don't think that is going to happen. Right. So you can use either one of the three. So I'm going to use rank. You can use row number, dense rank. The answer is not going to change. So rank it. Then since we are using a window function, we need to write the over clause. And for each of the days, we need to, you know, uh, rank the for measurements as first, second, third, etc. So you need to partition by partition by, but if you look at it, the uh, the column measurement time has values as a date time, right? So it is not just date. So you need to change this date time into a date. So how can you do that? You can use the function called cast. So cast this measurement time column, right? Cast this measurement time column as date. And then you create a partition, right? You created a partition and then you order by, right? order by the measurement time in ascending order right and let's alias this as number rank row whatever you want to write it right let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so now here if you look at it right so on 10th of july 2022 first second and third one and then on 11th of july four right four different so first second third fourth and similarly on 12th of july now once we have this right these ranks then what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte 
as and this entire thing goes into parentheses right so now what we can do is from this common table expression right let's group by the measurement time casted as a date right because we need to calculate for each of the measurement day the sum of the odd values and the even values or basically the odd measurements and the even measurements right so we write uh so, okay so from this common table expression uh let's group by right so let's group by cast the column called so if you see we kept the three columns right measurement id measurement value measurement time and created a ranking uh, column right so that is why we are again going to cast it uh, because right now in common table expression this column is exactly as it is right so cast the column called measurement time as date right and you return the same thing right so you return the same thing so you copy it here uh return so return this thing and now you need to calculate the odd sum and even sum so obviously uh, how to calculate if a number or a rank is odd or even you just do a modular division and see whether the remainder is one or zero right so what we can do is we can use the case when statements in this case so case when number modular division by two is not equal to right so is not equal to uh, let me just you know bring it here so not equal to zero that means it is a odd number right or you can just write uh, is equal to one that is also the same thing so case when number modular division two is not equal to zero then so right now we are calculated the uh, sum of odd measurements so then you take the value from measurement value column so measurement value column else you take it as zero since you started a case when statement you need to end it as well right and then you need to sum it up right so sum this entire thing uh okay sum this entire thing and let's alias this as odd sum right odd sum so you see what did we do so for example in this case what did we do we said okay uh, number divided by two so for this one and this one it won't be equal to zero it because the number is going to be one and three so okay when you have these kind of things right for each group right so these three will be casted into one group as a date right so in these two some uh, take the values from this one and this one sum it up and then in this one since it is purely divisible by two right so it will come out to be zero so it will say okay else zero right so it will take the zero value and then sum it up so that is going to give you the sum of odd stuff right so that is how it is working so by same logic you can get the even sum as well right so instead of writing this entire thing again just copy it here right copy paste it here uh, is equal to zero because now we are looking at the even part uh, and then it should be replaced as even sum right okay now this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so now you have measurement time as required uh, and since we have the measurement time and it should be aliased as measurement day so what we can do is we can write as uh, measurement day okay uh, let me run this again so now you have a uh, measurement day odd sum even sum right uh, okay so this question never says to you know order this in ascending or descending order but i tried this using you know if i let, let's let me go ahead and so if you look at it right so it is not arranged in increasing order of day so if i just go ahead and submit it it is going to throw me an error right uh mismatched because if you see the they are expecting it to be you know arranged in ascending order of the measurement day so all you need to do you know to make this work is just write at the end order by measurement day right nothing else needs to be changed run run this right so it is ordered and now if i go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly we found out that okay for each of the measurement day 
what is the rank of the measurement so we use the ranking function you can use row number dense rank we discussed this once we had that then we made sure that okay for each of the group that is measurement time casted as date because that is what we are you know considering a measurement day so once you have that for each of those days we said that okay whenever your number is divisible by two or not divisible by two it is even and odd respectively and uh, you know you calculate the sum and you get the output so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video